Uh, so today uh, we have Surat Al-Qadr um, and um, the name of Al-Qadr in Arabic Qadr uh, is a value or a decree uh, is something uh, it, it, they are with two different meanings however here when describing a night it is a night of great value of a glory or the night of decree where which means that what allah decree upon the human being and the night where the quran has been descended to uh, the human being and we'll get to the details of that inshallah but this is a word of al-qadr um, it is a Makki surah and uh, it um, uh, it starts with the uh, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say we sent it down on the night of glory or indeed we sent the Quran down during the night of decree and the word here um, uh, we sent it uh, we sent it down, uh, uh, reveals that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, mentioned the Qur'an as it, not as uh, inna anzalna al-Qur'an, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala referred to it with uh, the word it, because it is, it is known. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is referring it to something here that what any human or any Muslim, if he's asked it, what Allah revealed, what Allah is talking about here, it will say Quran. The Quran is, which is uh, the uh, last surah started with the fir very first revelation of verses in Quran. So Allah here is telling, that we revealed it, we revealed that Quran that we were talking about in the last surah, in Surah Al-Alaq, we revealed it uh, in that night of glory or night uh, uh, of decree. Revelation here, the, 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 we, we know uh, very well that the, 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 the the Quran was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to Jibreel throughout 23 years, approximately. So what does it mean here? Um, uh, the, the ulama has uh, two opinions uh, about it. One say it, it just started to be sent or started to be revealed to the Prophet Muhammad in the night of Al-Qadr. So that means that this is the first night Jibreel came to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and asked him, Iqra, recite or read. That is the night that happens. But most of the ulama would say that, no, this is actually the entire Quran was sent down from al al-Mahfuz from As-Sama, from, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, toward As-Sama, dunya toward the, 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 the skies. And Jibreel started by the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, send it munajjaman. Munajjaman means portion by portion to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, according to the occasions that he lived in. So the Quran come to meet human needs, human being situations. It is illustrated by situations. It is not just a book that is revealed uh, uh, entirely uh, with no context. So we speak the first ayah only referred to the Quran and then the rest of the surah, which four more verses, is speaking about this night, speaking about 
the night of glory, speaking and, and starting here with what will explain to you what that night of glory is. It's, it's just Allah is trying to draw the attention of everyone reading the Quran, reading this surah, to know the value of this night. And uh, then Allah said, it is a night that has a value or a glory that is better than thousand months. It is better in value or better in glory or better in reward than a thousand months. And um, the Mufassirin would say that is what would the Arab used to count with. The maximum number that they would count with is um, a thousand. So it is referring here to that is a night of unlimited reward. Though it's mean it is khayrun min alf shahr, it is better than a thousand. That is for us is saying like it is it is millions of things, which means unlimited. Some ulama would say, no, it is actually means exactly a thousand months, and a month is these months that we know, 29 days, 30 days. So the, 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 the one who reads this verse will know exactly how much of a reward one can get by worshiping Allah during that night. And we'll come uh, to uh, a discussion of when exactly is that night uh, when we finish the surah, inshallah. Laylatul Qadri khayrun min alf shahr. تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَالْرُوحُ فِيهَا بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِمْ مِنْ كُلِّ أَمْرٍ So, on that night, the angels and the Spirit, or the Holy Spirit, descend by the permission of their Lord for every decreed matter. So the, in that night, or on that night, the angel and Jibreel alayhi salam, and Jibreel is one of the angels. So he has been uh, specified among the angels because of his special rank. He is the one who was taking the role of communicating with, the messengers, he is for the angels of a highest rank. He is the top ranked angel. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in that night, the entire population of the angels with their leader will come down by the permission of their Lord by permission of Allah to do what? Either either it, they are coming from everywhere or either they are min kulli amr means that they are uh, 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 with kulli amr which means every issue they will come with the decree of, uh, of Allah for everything that's coming for the coming year. So the arrangement for everything is coming for the next year. Whatever the exact meaning is, it's just showing that this night is special. It is, it is very special uh, to the extent that all the population of the angels will come down to the earth for it. And the last verse is very beautiful. Salamun hiya hatta matla al fajr. There is peace or peace it is until the emergence of dawn. Till Fajr time, 
it will be a peace. It will be very peaceful. So that is one of the nights that uh, 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 ulama said that the signs of Laylatul Qadr, that it is a, 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 a tranquil night that has no heavy uh, uh, weather conditions, is not very hot, it is not very cold. Uh, depends on, of course, every uh, uh, location and the regular temperature. But we will uh, go now for uh, the different opinions about Laylatul Qadr. Uh, do uh, anyone has a, a question uh, before I continue with uh, with the uh, about specifying which night is a uh, Laylatul Qadr? The, the the different opinions are are not about the, uh, one saying it is 21st and another one saying it's 23rd no it's the, the, the opinions can can say some of the opinions it will say uh, you seek it the entire year some of the opinions saying in, in the the entire ramadan some of the opinions say the 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 the, the winter of the, the 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 last 10 nights so we will 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 start with the, with or we will only limit ourselves to the famous and whatever coming from authentic hadith, a hadith that uh, have a, a connected narration to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So the 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 very first opinion that uh, have a, 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 a number of scholars that supporting it. Uh, like uh, Imam Al-Nawawi or Imam uh, Ibn Taymiyyah or Ibn Hajar or Imam uh, most recently Ibn Baz, they, they would say that it is in the last 10 nights of Ramadan, period. So not Witr or, uh, or Shafa, uh, not uh, 25 or 27, it is in the last 10 nights. So start from the night of the 20s all the way to the end of Ramadan. That it, and it, it floats, which means it can, it can come uh, a, a year in 25, next year it will come in 26. So they, uh, uh, they mention uh, um, so many narrations about different opinions and none of them are contradicting each other because if one sahabi is saying that it is in the 27th night and another sahaba said that the prophet came and said it is in the 25th night if you believe one of them and it and you said it's he is exclusively right then the other sahabi or the other companion is lying and it is not the case. All of them have, have told us the truth. And to collect all this opinion in one opinion that will be acceptable, we would take this first opinion. Uh, well, uh, let's move to the second part which is what is the evidence for that? They say the evidences are that there is authentic hadith saying it is in the last 10 nights. And another hadith say it is in the last nine nights. And another hadith that's saying it is in the last seven nights. Another authentic hadith saying it is in the odd of the last 10 nights. And we'll keep moving on. Like there is a one very authentic hadith in Al-Bukhari saying it is fi tis'in baqina min Ramadan. In the nine days remaining from Ramadan or seven or five remaining of Ramadan. So if you do your math, it will be either the 21st night or the 23rd night or the 25th night, right? No, it's not right. It's actually wrong or 50% right because Ramadan might be at 29 nights. So then the counting will be, it's either going to be at 20 or 22 or the 25th night. So just by thinking of 
the um, difference in every Ramadan, if it is 29 or 30, by itself will make you doing your best in the entire 10 nights. Sure, makes sense. So the problem with the, also when the Ramadan starts, it is not determined, right? So some people would, would start fasting Monday and some people would start fast Tuesday. You all see that every year, almost every single year, Muslim nation starts in a different, starting Ramadan in a different day. So this one day of shift at the beginning of Ramadan and the difference of the length of Ramadan by 29 and 30, that will easily prove that we will have to, if we are seeking the reward of Laylatul Qadr, to do Qiyamul Layl in the entire 10 nights, last 10 nights of Ramadan. We'll move to what is the reason for not mentioning or specifying this night. There is a famous hadith on Ubadah ibn Samit radiallahu anhu, Qaraja al-Nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam liyukhbirana bilaylat al-Qadr fatalaha rajulani min al-Muslimin. They fight with each other. Prophet Muhammad came, Ubadah radiallahu anhu said, <laughs> The Prophet came out and he wanted to tell us about Laylatul Qadr. So he found two Muslim people are arguing or fighting or whatever. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, I came out to tell you about Laylatul Qadr. Then so and so were, were fighting uh, with each other. And I hope that is khair for you. وَعَسَى أَنْ يَكُونَ خَيْرًا لَكُمْ فَلْتَمِسُوهَا Try to find it So try to get it in the ninth or the seventh of the fifth. This is narrated in Al-Bukhari. So the reason, the, one of the reasons that it has been uh, uh, unknown or, or not specified, for, unspecified for us, it is the... Um, uh, that unease between Muslims, the uh, uh, the uh, the tension between uh, uh, Muslim brothers and sisters, it is something that will or should tell us that if you have any problem with uh, uh, with a, with a brother or a sister, try to sort the issues. Try to 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 to, to get into Ramadan with a peaceful mind without any uh, negative feelings or hate or uh, anything that will stop you from uh, worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a pure and sincere heart. Uh, another reason that the uh, uh, ulama uh, mention is according to the hadith narrated by Muslim. Uh, that uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Urir to Laylat al-Qadr. I had been viewed Laylat al-Qadr. Uh, Allah showed it to me, Laylat al-Qadr. Thumma I qadani ba'd ahli. Then some of my family wake me up. Fanasi to her. So I forgot it. Faltamisuha fil ashr. So try to find it in the last 10 nights. Uh, so that hadith saying that the Prophet وسلم, knew about it, but he forgot it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is for that is as a, the last hadith is maybe it is khayr. Uh, people always try to find, okay, name a night for me and I will stay the entire night even before Maghrib till the end of the Fajr. And that's it. I got the reward and nobody can talk to me. The more efforts, and it's still 10 nights is not that big or huge of a deal, but it is, again, another way 
of you show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the good intention, you approach and take the, the right step and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come to you with the immense reward. So uh, as always, there is no uh, easy catch or uh, magic wand that will, will you, you, we have to do efforts. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say the, the, about Ramadan, ayyaman ma'dudat. Uh, and this last 10 night is one third of this ayyaman ma'dudat. These counted days, counted days and nights. So we should exert our very best efforts in them. Uh, uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always describe the people who do uh, so the, in their nights he's speaking about the righteous people Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in surah al dhariyat saying that those righteous people only a little of their night they would go to take a breast in their bed and especially with Come, when it comes to a sahar, the, 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 the very last portion, the, la, the third portion or the third, the last part of the night before Fajr, a sahar, they do lots of istighfar. They ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving their previous sins. So that is for us to learn uh, and to get ready, inshallah that uh, do our best in Ramadan, in the entire Ramadan. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala see from us that we deserve this night, meeting this night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will enable us, will put in us the power and the tranquility and the ability to be uh, uh, worshipping Allah in the best form in that Laylatul Qadr whether we can get it all or we get part of it, but we, inshallah, don't miss this huge reward. Uh, so that is, uh, that is the last thing I wanted to say, and I'm open for your question. I think Maghrib has already been called for, so we might have a few minutes before we, uh, we close for today.